Hello everyone and welcome back to Data Cloud Now's live coverage of Snowflake Summit in Las Vegas, the world's largest data and AI conference. I'm now joined by Monica McEwen, Managing Director, AI and Data Operations Leader for GPS, along with Dave Kocher, Principal Strategic Initiatives at Deloitte. Such a pleasure to have you both back on DCN. Great to be here. You know, Dave, great to have you back. With customers from 90% of the Fortune 500, what's top of mind as we close out the first half of 2023? Well, first, let me start by thanking Snowflake and everybody here for bringing this wonderful collection of our top clients and important partners to this forum. A uh, couple of things, and why, why Snowflake for us is so important too, because we have very shared perspectives of what's now and what's next, and that's, that's sort of a, a repeated theme we'll talk about is, it's a very, um, becoming somewhat challenging economic environment. Right. So delivering what's now, delivering the value that the clients need to produce this quarter, next quarter, immediately after, while thinking about what's next. So delivering now, designing for what's next, and we saw a big showcase of that this, this week at Snowflake. You know, talking about what's next brings us perfectly into the role Gen AI and LLMs will have across the industry. Monica, from your perspective, what are you hearing in relation to this topic and how will it have an impact on Deloitte's overall strategy? Yeah, I mean, I think the question is what are we not hearing on this topic, <laughs> right? Um, it seems to be, it's captured everyone's attention and imagination. And I think from a, a, from a Deloitte's perspective, we've stood up a generative AI practice, very focused, as Dave said, on you know, how do we help our clients now and build for that future. And so we're doing a lot right now to help our clients plan for this generative AI wave of innovation, but really focused on how do we build out prototypes that they can prove out the value of Gen AI while also thinking about the kind of longer term plan around it. Um, so as we think about that, we're really focused on use cases and solutions that can drive immediate impact today as we think about more of that enterprise strategy. Um, and part of that is very tied to our alliance partners. So working with Snowflake, um, the announcement that earlier this week of the NVIDIA and Snowflake partnership is of particular interest to Deloitte, two of our biggest partners. So we look forward to continuing to build out solutions in that regard. Dave, we'd we'll love your thoughts as well. Well, just to add to that, it's going to impact the underlying advancements in technologies that are coming into fruition with generative AI and advanced AI simulations and the like is going to impact every industry sector, every function, and what Monica talked about is then the pacing of how does this unleash. But what's also important with those advanced technologies, they're only as good as the underlying data sovereignty that elicits trust with the customers and stakeholders and data interoperability, which really institutionalize value across the, the chain. So those two fundamental elements are the core of Snowflake, but also the enablers of where the Gen AI is going to take it. Yeah. You know, I want to do a quick reflection, if you don't mind. It's been a busy year for Snowflake with the launches of the manufacturing and government and education data clouds. What impact have these had on your customers? Monica, would love your thoughts on this. Yeah, I mean, I think that there's been a lot of discussion around data sharing, right? right. I had an opportunity to sit in with New York Health and Hospitals earlier this week, and they presented their use case around using Snowflake, particularly to serve patients, homeless patients. And they talked about the need to share data on the patient's journey with eight different government agencies, right? And Snowflake has enabled that through the data cloud. And if you take that sort of one step further and you think about, okay, what if you pulled in external data sets, right? If we took that homeless um, contingent and said right. instead of just patient population, what if we pulled in weather data, demographic data, housing costs, you know, job availability, and provided better citizen services based on all these external data sources that can then drive, um, drive these citizen engagement. So I think there's just an incredible opportunity there with the launch of the government cloud. Um, you know, you think about Exxon Mobil talked this right. week about their use of the data marketplace and the fact that they're pulling in all of these external data which have allowed them to optimize their supply chain simply by having real-time access to weather data in their Snowflake data cloud environment. And thinking about that at like the DOD level, Department of Defense, and the logistics and supply chains that they run, some of the largest in the world, if they could optimize their supply chain even just a little bit by having this real-time access through the data marketplace, there's just a tremendous opportunity. So super excited to see where the marketplace is going to go from a government perspective. And then I think the last angle on that is there's so many government data sets that can be made publicly available. And right. today those are really hard to access. And so the marketplace is really going to unlock a lot of the government data that private sector can take advantage of as well. 
you know, an exciting next chapter, and the impact of that will be felt by the lives of hundreds of millions of people. Exactly, exactly. Um, Dave, from your perspective, anything to add? Well, the underlying notions of what uh, Monica talked about is really the accelerant to time to value. Right. So going from general utility platforms and technologies to fit for purpose technologies that can be implemented faster, that can get to the outcomes at the time that the client wants the outcome. Yeah. You know, great to have your reflection on, on the past year with these launches of these data clouds. Now I want to look towards the future. For both of you, what will you be primarily focused on over the coming months? And for the audience watching, what advice would you like to give them and what can they be doing now to be successful into the future? Dave. Well, I'll pick on maybe where a bit that we started. We're in an unprecedented era where the advancements and underlying technologies, where the evolving aspects of both geopolitical and environmental and social, that we've got ability to envision net new capabilities, net new markets, whether it's climate tech or energy tech or space tech or all these environments. All of them are going to be data independent, they're all going to be interoperable independent, and so I think all companies need to be thinking about those go forward domains while they're delivering against what they have today. So we, we try to maintain a balanced focus on the set of capabilities we need today, but we need to plant footholds and positionings into where we know the technologies are going to lead the markets and vice versa relative to that. And Monica, from your perspective, as you look out, what's top of mind for you? Yeah, I mean, I think I work primarily with our government clients, right. and I mentioned in the beginning, you know, generative AI is all the buzz and everyone's excited about it. And so as we look to building out generative AI prototypes and proof of concepts, one of the biggest focus areas is on the data, right? right. Frank and Jensen, when they had their conversation earlier this week, said, you know, data is the lifeblood of AI and ML. And so in the government market, we're really focused on how do we make sure that the data is in a platform like Snowflake that can take advantage of the data cloud and the scalability that exists there, and then take advantage of all those technologies on top of it. Um, you know, not all data is fit for AI. And right. so how do you make sure you've got the data governance and the security through Snowflake and then all the data quality that's required to take advantage of this just you know, incredible time we're in with the advancement of AI and AI technologies. Well, looking forward to seeing how it plays out in the coming months. Always a pleasure having Deloitte on Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much for joining me. Yep. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, good to be here. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. We'll see you soon. <laughs>